More doubt is being cast tonight on the cost of HS2, the ambitious plan to build a high-speed rail line between London and Birmingham. This time it comes from two London Assembly committees. They say that while they still support the scheme, they want the government to look again at the impact it'll have on the environment and London's transport system. Well, our reporter Nick Beek is at Euston Station for us now. Nick. Yeah, thanks so much, Alice. The original plan for this station was it for it to be completely knocked down and a new one built as part of this high-speed project. But HS2 bosses realised that was going to be too expensive, and so the latest is that 11 new high-speed platforms will be built alongside existing ones. That's angered campaigners round here. Camden Council says that it means that London will get all the blight of HS2 and none of the benefits. And today what we've seen is two London Assembly committees saying they're worried they want the government to look again at the environmental impact of HS2 on London and also concerns over transport. Issues like poor air quality around Euston anyway, uh, there's no doubt the high speed 2 works will uh, aggravate that and make it far worse. Um, they really do need to get to terms with the mitigation and compensation for that. And similarly noise, they intend to work during the night. Now that's not really on for the residents. So Nick, those are the concerns. What's the government saying? Well, HS2 Limited, the company behind these plans, say that they've been listening to London all along, that they've had 15,000 responses as part of a consultation which includes changes to plans for Euston, and they will look very carefully at detail at all of the uh, feedback they get, including from London Assembly. They say, though, that this is a vital, uh, vital thing for the country. The government says the benefit will be £50 billion once it's up and running. However, there has been criticism, uh, no less from Peter Mandelson, the former business secretary. He said this could turn out to be an expensive mistake. There have been concerns about the budget going up ton, £10 billion to £40 billion. Also, the National Audit Office have said that they want to see clearer proof of what the benefits will be, not to mention those Conservative MPs along some of the route. They'll be very mindful, of course, that their voters, people in their constituency, will be going to the polls before the diggers roll in to lay the first high-speed tracks. Alice. Nick Beek, thank you.